In this video, I'll walk through how to build a simple bot flow. First, start by opening Nintex RPA and clicking the New Bot Flow button. Before we begin creating the bot flow, we should load the data. So simply drag and drop the file from where you've got it saved over the Nintex RPA interface, and this will load the data wizard. Walk through the steps in the data wizard. Make sure to check the box that says use included field names. And then click done. The resulting data file will be saved in the same directory that the original source file was saved. Now we can pull up the website that we'll be working with. You can find this link in the email that was sent originally. In this case, it's a very simple form. The goal is to take our data and input it into this form one at a time. So to start, we will grab the selector tool and drag and drop over the first name field. When Nintex RPA comes back up, we will choose the send value action. First thing we should configure in the action builder is what we want to send. So I could type something into this field if I was sending the same thing each time, but in this case, I want to send it uh, from my data. So I need to reference back to that data uh, file that I've got loaded. To do this, just click on the magic wand icon. This will pull up the expression builder. Then uh, by default, it comes up to our data that we have loaded. So just click once on the first name field, and this will pull in a data token. The data token is a dynamic value that will reference the current value in the data. So in this case, we have one value. On the next record in our data, we will have a different value. So click OK on the expression builder to confirm that value. And then some other options in the action builder for send value. We can change the mode and the speed by default. Overwrite and auto are generally uh, going to be most common used options there. If you need to fine tune how fast it is typing into a field, then you can adjust from very fast down to slowest if you need to. Overwrite will clear out a field before it sends whatever value you designate. Append uh, adds a value to the end of a field. Insert in front will insert the value into the front of the field. So if there's anything currently in that field, it will put it at the very beginning or at the very end with append. And then none will simply do nothing and just put the value into the field wherever it ends up. Another important option to know about is bypass the keyboard. Uh, this will kind of as it implies bypass the keyboard. So rather than actually typing into the field, it will just drop the value in all at once. This will allow for 100% accuracy and it will be much faster than um, not using it. And actually, let's demonstrate that. So for this first one, we will say do not bypass. We'll just leave everything as the default. And before we save, it's important to get into a good habit of notating everything. So we'll just put that note there and then click OK on the action builder to save. And as that action runs, uh, hopefully you notice it was typing in one letter at a time. Uh, so now let's build the action for the last name field. We'll bring the selector tool over that field. Again, we'll use the send value action. We'll go into the expression builder to pull in that last name data token. Click OK on the expression builder. And this time, let's go with the bypass the keyboard option. Again, we'll put the note in before saving. And then as soon as you click OK, it's going to take over and run that step again. And we'll see it just put it in right away. It happens really quick. 
Uh, so that's generally why, uh, if you can use bypass, uh, it's kind of recommended as a best practice to do so. So from here, it's just rinse and repeat for the rest of the data that we have. So we'll do company, email, city, and state. For our state field, we have the state abbreviation rather than the spelled out state. In some cases, you may need one or you may need the other. We do have a number of formulas built in to Nintex RPA that can allow that data transformation. So rather than just sending the data token for state, let's look at those formulas. I do have a lot of logic and math and text formulas, but we also have a couple of translate. So we need the state name, so we'll choose the state name formula. From here, we will go into the expression builder, choose that state token, click OK, and then back in the formula builder, we can see the preview of the output. Click the add button to add that formula to the expression, and click OK on this expression builder to add that to the action builder. Now that we have that, it will send the full state name rather than the abbreviation. Now that we've put all of the data points in that we need, we can scroll down the page and there's a reset button. So bring the bullseye over this reset button. And this time it will be a click action. Again, with the click action, you have the option to bypass the mouse. So let's enable that. And again, similarly to the bypass the keyboard option, the bypass the mouse allows it to click on that item without actually needing to use the mouse cursor. So we will notate and again, save that action, let it run. And if we scroll back up here, all of those fields have been cleared out. So now we are ready to test. So click the rewind button to bring that back to the very beginning. And for the first test, you can walk step by step using the stepper tool in the bottom left of Nintex RPA. So each time that stepper button is clicked, it will execute the action where that green arrow is pointing to. So now if I click it, we'll see the first name go in and so on and so on until we can confirm everything is correct. So again, we've put in all the data that we need. Everything looks great. So let's click on that reset button again. And now let's actually run through. So again, clicking on that rewind button brings us to the top. Let's mark that record as completed. So we'll tell it do not run and then advance it to the next record, record number two. So clicking on the play button at the lowest speed setting for this uh, second test here. Again, just going a little bit at a time during the testing to make sure everything is behaving as expected. Great. So we'll click on that stop button. What stop will do is it will complete the record that it's on before stopping. Compared to pause, we'll stop it immediately uh, on that action that it's on. Perfect. So I just stopped, got through records number two and records number three without any issues. So now at this point, I'm feeling pretty confident. So let's go all the way up to the full speed here. Uh, so what this will do, as soon as I click play, it's going to run records four and records five. So I'll click play. When running on max speed, Nothing it will change on the Nintex RPA interface. Uh, it is completely normal as expected to happen. Perfect. So I just ran through records number four and records number five without any issues. It happened really quick since we have everything on bypass, but uh, we were able to confirm that everything was running fine. So that is a very simple bot flow just to get your feet wet a little bit. Um, Hopefully you can take away some of the basics there and, and apply them to um, some other use cases that you might have in mind. 
If you've got any questions, please don't hesitate to contact our Nintex support team either by email at support at nintex.com or by phone at 1-800-658-1147.